Assalamu alaikum class in this video we will discuss about dyes and their classification first of all a little bit introduction about dyes <coughs> dyes are actually organic compounds these are organic compounds and dyes has a specific color they have color or colors why they have colors because when sunlight fall on their surface they have the ability to reflect a part of that light reflect back and show some color <coughs> dyes has two main group dyes have two main groups which gives some properties to a dye like they have color and they also attach to any fabric those main groups are first is chromophore first is chromophore and second group is oxychromophore chromophore is the group it is the group of atoms or just a single atom which gives color to a dye to a dye <coughs> for example <coughs> nitro and nitroso azo it's strong and also from four are the groups which provides attachment with the surface surface like fabric it may be wool silk or or any other artificial uh, man made fabric it provides attachment with the surface i am mentioning it as fabric to dye and this group may be acidic or basic we can say it is actually polar group and its polarity is very helpful for the attachment of the dye with the surface we classify the dyes on the basis of chromophore classification is on the basis of chromophore so classification on the basis of chromophore we classify the dyes 
on the basis of chromophores into almost five categories and I am mentioning those first is nitro and nitrosodine nitro and nitrosodine second classification is azodine azodine and third class is triaryl methane dye triaryl methane dye and fourth class is anthraquinone dye anthraquinone dye And fifth one is indigo dye. Indigo dye. In nitro and nitroso dyes, the chromophore group is NO and NO2. NO2, NO or NO2 is a chromophore group. That is actually present in nitro and nitroso dyes. For example, naphthol yellow. Naphthol yellow is an example of nitro and nitroso dyes. It is naphthol yellow. Here is NO2 group. Here is hydroxyl. And here will also be NO2 group. And here will be. SO3. It is naphthol yellow. Naphthol yellow. In case of azodyes, there is the chromophore that is actually nitrogen, double bond nitrogen. Nitrogen, double bond nitrogen is a chromophore group. In this case, we have a nitrogen atom that is bonding with other nitrogen atom with double bond. And its example is methyl orange. Methyl orange. A benzene ring connecting with two nitrogen atom and another benzene ring and here is extensive bond and it is methyl orange methyl orange third class is triaryl methane dye as by name that it will have three benzene rings and just one carbon, central carbon. In this case, I am just going to draw its structure. Uh, phenolphthalein is good example of uh, such type of dyes. Carbon, double bond carbon, and here is one uh, ring as and here will be hydrogen positive charge another benzene ring hydroxyl group there will be also a benzene ring and hydroxyl group and CO2 it is actually phenolphthalein and in this case one carbon is attached with three benzene rings. So it is known as tri, tri means three benzene rings, aryl, aryl means benzene, methane, methane just indicating first central carbon. It is actually phenolphthalein ring. 
phenolphthalein and we use phenolphthalein as an indicator acid base indicator next is anthraquinone dyes in case of anthraquinone dyes uh, the chromophore is para quinoid ring para quinoid ring is actually a chromophore in such type of dyes for example alizarian alizarian is good example of anthraquinone dyes first benzene ring paraquinoid ring and second benzene ring it is alizarian and the last one is indigo dyes in case of indigo dyes carbonyl group is actually chromophore in this carbonyl group group is used as a chromophore and uh, it is also known as indigo dyes benzene ring carbon double bond oxygen nitrogen hydrogen and again carbon double bond carbon here will be carbon double bond oxygen and here will be nitrogen and benzene this type of dye is also known as indigo dye indigo now a little bit uh, summary about dyes and their classifications dyes are actually organic compounds and though they uh, show some colors they have colors and there are two main groups which give the properties uh, to dye of coloring and attachment those groups are chromophore and second is oxochromophore chromophore is the group or group of atoms sorry atom or group of atom which give color to a dye and we have discussed almost uh, five types of chromophore in this classification and pro oxochromophore oxochromophore is a group which provides attachment to a fabric actually it is attached with the chromophore and it has ability to attach with any surface it is actually polar group and it may be acidic or basic acidic or basic group next we have discussed about classification of dyes on the basis of chromophore first is nitro and nitroso dyes in this case no and no2 are the major chromophore group and next azo dyes in this case n double bond n is the major chromophore group and next is diaryl-methane dyes in this case first carbon one carbon is attached with three benzene rings and then anthraquinone dyes in this we have discussed about paraquinoid ring and we have discussed one example that is alizarian in this dye here is paraquinoid ring it is paraquinoid ring and the last one is indigo dyes in this case we have just discussed about the chromophore that is carbonyl group it's all about dyes next time we will discuss about azo dyes if you have question regarding dyes and their classification on the basis of chromophore just uh, uh, comment your question and thank you don't forget to subscribe my channel allah hafiz